Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and will today be the day that my rotation proof standard best of one grind to mythic will possibly end. We're starting at the absolute bottom of diamond or no that's not true we're starting at the bottom of diamond one you guys think i mean diamond four i mean diamond one and we're gonna try to just get those six those last six wins you guys ever been there you just need that six wins and you're like you know what i can do it tonight and six hours later you're still saying i can do it tonight <laughs> maybe you've been there maybe you know the feeling maybe not but you can experience it right here vicariously through me, the one in best of one. And uh, today's video, before we dive right into it and the choices for this Esper deck list that we're going to play, I'm going to quickly shout out my other channel. Uh, yes, if you were looking for the worst possible commander show this weekend, it has moved to its own channel. Look up the channel, Covert Go Crew. Covert Go Crew. It rhymes with Covert Go Blue, but it's different. I think there should also be a link in the description if we're using the right description around here. Editor! Check the editor's work, all of you. Go check that link. Uh, thank you to the, um, I think it went over 16,000 people already subscribed over there. Very cool, totally epic. And we also just launched a Patreon for that channel. And it already, we already like hit several patrons on the very first day. Like it, to, the day I'm recording this, this intro for you, is right after that premiere went live and that video has been out for a few hours and I'm already like, oh my gosh, I didn't, didn't expect so many people to, to join the Patreon and looking forward to paying out some of those sweet perks, such as people choosing what commander one of us plays. Um, okay. I'm kind of nervous about that one. I'm not going to lie. Transition from support and Patreon support, today's video here on this channel, which is dedicated to MTG Arena, is dedicated, uh, this patron shout out goes to Stephen Board. Thank you very much, Stephen. You're very cool. There's a link in the description if you would like to support this channel on Patreon. And thank you again to everybody who signed up over there. I think 23 new patrons this month, which is really high the shout outs you guys seem to like the shout outs and the token tiers so we'll keep them coming all right esper control what is esper going to be like post rotation as usual as we have continued to do this is a rotation proof deck and rotation is coming september 1st not very far away now like a week away unbelievable and when it does the mana base is going to be a lot better than the mana base is for this deck today because we are getting the pain lands this particular deck gets caves of coilos and a dark our wastes making the mana base a little bit easier to manage although pain lands aren't perfect as long as you keep your life total high though you should be able to cast all of your spells, which is, of course, very important. So we have a lot of life gain sneaking into our Esper curve out deck. Now, most of the Esper decks that you see existing in best of three, they're very good mid-range decks. They can play either aggressive or defensive. You see a lot of Luminar Gas Pirates and you see a lot of Tenacious Underdogs. I think for a best of one version, you have to be able to compete when you're on the draw, which a lot of the versions of Esper I've run into haven't really done. The most recent version I played had the Professor of some blah, 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 who is rotating out soon, so we won't be playing them again. But that was one of my sort of nods to mid-range. So here we are in this particular version. I have a lot of ways to gain life. I'm already preparing for those pain lands that I'll be putting in the mana base on September 1st. Denik the Pious Apprentice is a really sweet card in the deck if you don't have other cards that target the graveyard in any way. And as I mentioned in my blue-white video a few days ago, it's a sneaky way to hose the Slogurg decks that are popping up here and there. I appreciate you believers. Other ways to gain life, we've got two March of Wretched Sorrow hanging out. Of course, Wandering Emperor. Of course, Meat Hook Massacre. And we've also got... Nope, that was it. I named them all. Just kidding. I always think I forgot something. I just forgot that I had three Denics, and it can add up to a lot when you're using Rafine to connive onto Denic. It's also really cool that the Denic Pious Apparition ability of making clues triggers when you discard cards to Rafine. Because Ward is showing up more and more, and because there are all kinds of various permanents that I need to remove, we're giving Voidrend a shot. 
It hasn't been very good in this standard because three mana is a lot to pay for removal. But as we move further and further along, I do need something that I can just fire off that completely kills whatever I need it to. So we're playing Void Ren today. We've got four wedding announcements and two Kaidos as wedding announcement continuing to be the fable passage of the of the future over here, a future standard. I got him. I guarantee they were already starting to type the comments. I know I I know what I mean. I know it's not Fable Passage. I know it's Fable the Mirror Breaker. But I got him. Uh, anyway, the more wedding announcements we run, the better Make Disappear gets. So we're trying four Make Disappear in this deck to give it kind of a counterspell out to giant things like Titan of Industry that can cause us a lot of problems and let our opponents go way over the top of our mid-range little strategy here. So will this be the Esper mid-range deck? That carries me to Mythic. That kind of brings this rotation-proof, stale standard, ice-cold summer journey to an end. You'll have to stay tuned and find out. But I will say, I appreciate, throughout all of it, the support from you guys. I'm glad that you're still enjoying the videos. And I'm really looking forward to a new meta. And I'm the more I look at the cards, you know, the more I look at the cards coming for Dominaria United, the more excited I get. So I'm really excited to dive into that very soon. But we've got another week to fill with content. So let's get that mythic. Six wins. Do you believe? Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. All right. Try hard to mythic. Six easy wins. We go first. This hand is great. The one of underdog, the tower fixing the mana. The basics in a spot where they don't hurt us. Usher of the Fallen. People still play mono white? Bizarre. Woof. Portable hole for the underdog. Ouchie. And second Usher. So I think it's Rafine. Pretty hard to deal with. The ward might keep them away. It cuts off both of the two ones. Probably not attacking next turn, though. Welcoming Vampire. Is this when it enters the battlefield? It is. Ooh, that's... Nice. All right, let's hold up Voidrend. I, I don't know. I kind of want them playing a cheap creature and then I hook, but I don't really want my, I don't want to hook my adorably meat hooked little critters. I guess I could attack and connive onto these. That's not bad. All right, let's go for that. Maybe I attack, I connive two spells. This is a 3-3. Three, three. Ah, it would still die to the hook. Still, it's just one little token. Besides, maybe they go Brutal Cathar? Oh, don't put it on that vampire. Do not put a counter on that vampire. Will not stand for this. That is a problem. All right. My hook plan fell apart a little bit. I guess I could attack with Ravine and just discard one land. Mm. If they block here, then the hook does deal with everything, doesn't it? Let's see what they do. Could be interesting. Please block with the vampire. Please block with the vampire. Please block with the vampire. Please. Fix it. Okay. Um, I might clean all this up anyway. I could get out second wedding announcement, have three creatures on board, and then next turn maybe I have a land, but it's not reliable. Let's just clean it up anyway. A little bit of card draw for them. We can just out-muscle them with Rafine, right? Or at least we can try to. I'm sure I'll be able to pick off that welcoming vampire eventually. Paladin class? 
All right, <laughs> we're gonna have to play cards on our turn, I guess. 17 to 22, are you an attacker? Wow, that is something. Cause I'm gonna attack. Make this appear isn't very good. Um, We would have to leave up three mana for it, which I just don't want to do. I'll also drop off the, I guess we could just play Emperor here and exile this. Okay, they're not even, it was either play Emperor and exile their creature or play Wedding Announcement and Kaido and just run them over. And I think Wedding Announcement Kaido is better. So I think we discard the Emperor there. We're on the play. Our hand is very controlly. I am a control gamer, so this is fine with me. We're gonna make disappear into Void Ren into Wandering Emperor. I love that the deck can play this way. It doesn't have to have a turn two creature to be effective. That's something, a, a trap I think a lot of Rafine decks get into. Haunted Ridge. What you doing, opponent? Grixis. A lot of that Grixis vampire deck is kind of endured. We'll see if this is another one of those. Sure. Void rend that into oblivion. Oh, now they don't like me. I see. Don't even know you. Might be playing into a counter spell here with the Wandering Emperor, but I think that's okay. We'll see what they do. Fable? Nah. Nah. Take some of the sting out of this hand. Um. We could try to get a board presence with a wandering emperor here, or we could blitz out this underdog. Let's try to turn life to card advantage for a few turns. The weird thing about that is we just end up falling back on a wandering emperor game plan anyway. So let's try to push the emperor this turn. What you gonna get with that card? And good riddance to that card. I should enjoy that card more than I do, but the fact that it's just an automatic, I think really took a lot of the sting out of, or just took a lot of fun out of playing that card for me. Resolves. All right, we can get, we can bet that something's gonna die. I'm sure the opponent's loaded up on removal over here. Mario Command's a good way to do it. We're gonna discard two cards. The fact that's a tough decision for them is interesting. <sighs> Probably bad for us. Iteration. Seeing that card is very bad. Like, that is not what we wanted to see at all. So do we try for another Emperor? I guess so. This is probably the, um, what is it? Name of it, the Invokes. Like, Invoke Despair, Invoke Calamity, that deck. Which is very annoying. It's a very, very frustrating. It, it's not a deck a mid-range deck can beat. Like, it preys on mid-range. So it is exactly what we need to avoid. And the fact that we didn't get to avoid it, pretty sad. All right, Galvanic Iteration. And we're doing this again. Plans. We don't have any of the good ways to keep the pressure applied. I guess I'll try using the underdog here, but for the most part, we're in big trouble. We could run this back with the Wandering Emperor again. I feel like if we don't find a counter spell in the next couple turns, we're just going to lose. That said, they are kind of scrambling to deal with it. Burn down the house is particularly bad, though. 
Let's attack. I would really like to be able to play both of these, but we're just missing one land. Okay, you are way too chatty. I'm okay with a hello here and there, but shut the hell up and play. Nobody gives a damn about how you feel right now. They're here to watch me! Hey! I get to do this? Alright. I mean, I have a bad feeling that they're going to burn down the house. They burn down the house. It doesn't really matter what I do with my Wandering Emperor here. So I'll just try for damage, I guess. They can do that at instant speed with Invoke. That's my primary concern here. But at least if we send in Blitzy Underdog, we get to draw a card. We want to gain four life from killing this, so we're going to use an Infernal Grasp here. We might get punished if they have a Holebreaker Horror, but it doesn't seem like that kind of deck to me. And this way they don't gain the life and we still draw a card. Nice to have the one of Field of Ruin to face the Hall of the Storm Giants. Look for three. Nasty. All right, keep it coming. We're doing a good job keeping the pressure on, considering. And now I haven't quite figured out what their deck is. It seems closer to like just Grixis Control at this point, but it's hard to be sure. Underdog is trying to keep us in it. Okay, there's our burn down the house. Had a feeling that was coming. Hold this for a fiend? I don't think so. Still hitting. It's not doing as much damage because of that darn hook, but at least we're getting cards, so we're not out of the game quite yet. Okay, that could be nice. That could be useful. If we catch them just right with that make disappear. Hmm, do we go for this field of ruin? Kind of an open goal here. Let's go for it. We might have other things to do with our mana in the future. We also get to basics check them. Eh? You got one? They do. Only three cards left, though. We're down to ten. They're at eleven. This underdog is doing some damage to me. Uh, that's good. They can take two damage for that. And we draw. And it's another announcement. That's nice. Do we go for it? I think we do. Seems like about time they should have a counterspell. They don't. Or at least not one that they can use right there. Maybe they're also on the make disappear plan. Level up. Yeah, we got a squad now, guys. Go for lethal. Take two. Yeah. March. Okay, that could be huge. We could march away there. Meat Hook Massacre. We drop them to just two life. I'm playing out the land. Oh my gosh, we might grind this one out. I still don't see the top end of their deck. Don't get carried away here. They've still got plays to make. Expressive iteration. Do 
don't know what their wing con is. Arcane Bombardment? Don't see any cards that would really make that the for sure idea. Big score? Could counter that. Don't let that go. They discarded a test of talents. Expressive iteration? Valky. Sure. You want to see this hand? Have a look at this hand. Nosy. So it's a Valky control deck. Sounds like a Sonio experiment, huh? No more hooks. And I'm just going to counter that. You want to play till the end? You want to you want to stay till the end? I guess that's a good fan. Okay, we can bring it unmute. <laughs> Still emoting. I wonder how many emotes do you think they sent? Uh, just get him to stop holding priority with that Valky. <laughs> All right, I'm sure I'll see you in the comments. It's nothing personal, but you're the enemy when you line up across from me. It's a slow hand on the draw. We have no clues from our opponent, except that they're chatty, so they're aggro. They're definitely aggro. I do have turn two meat hook. I'm gonna keep it. Like meat hook against Boros can just be good on its own, just sitting there. All right, swamp. Do I have to change how I feel about chatty gamers? I hope not. It's one of the tropes of the channel. I may have to. They have a bank buster. All right. I'm going to get this on the field. Don't think it's that useful in the hand. Of course, Rafine could try to turn it into a fresh card, but you always want a little meat hook around, you know? Wedding announcement, pretty good against Invoke Despair. Let's get that down. And then next turn, Rafine. We can attack with the 1-1 one, one and connive right away. They have the Celestis. Pretty sure they're just going to draw a card with this Bank Buster, right? But maybe not. Maybe not. If I offer a Rafine, they say go. Mm hmm. I mean, I'll try to connive. They might do something about it, though. If they blow this up in response, I don't even get the draw discard, so it is a pretty good play on their part. Too many land. Way too many land. Weird to kill it now, but I, I, it is a human. I guess that works. I'm sure they're looking at Invoke Despair like they'll just sacrifice a 1-1 and a Massacre. It's not very good. Okay, they're going to go for Soul Transfer. Costs a lot, and they don't have an enchantment, so they don't get anything back. And that was their whole turn. They missed a land drop. So, let's do this again. We could give up the hook, the Takanuma, or the field. Don't think the field is very important against them. They might still play hives, but it looks to me like they're playing the rotation proof version. So I think field is a dead card. Whereas the Takanuma can still be another card. And then I think I just hold this. Because this is going to be a grind. They missed a land drop. I can afford to miss one. We got Soren. Does Soren make a creature? Yes. 
Now I have to decide whether or not I care enough about that creature to kill it, or I just want to play a Kaido in plus. Uh, also, Wandering Emperor could kill it. Let's go like this. Three cards. Um, one, two... Yeah, I'm going to give up the other hook. Three. Yeah, there's your block. Here's my Wandering Emperor. And my first strike. Take out the Vampire, take out the Sorin. Hit for three. And hold. As we have all these types on the battlefield... Yeah, there's Invoke Despair. So we give up you, give up you, and give up the Wandering Emperor. It's okay, we got another. Let's keep piling on the Rafine. Gotta get through all these lands somehow, huh? Alright, now I might end up playing this Takanuma if we don't draw an untapped land here. And we'll hold the make disappear for the next wave. Get it? Wave. That'll do. I definitely don't have to counter it, but the tempo's so good here, it should be enough. We'll go on the token here. The opponent might be holding removal. Um, This can be cast from the graveyard, so we'll drop it. This I don't think I need at all. Down to three. Plus. Now this land. Let's play the doggo and hold up Wandering Emperor in case they somehow clear the board. And we found a make disappear, so perfect. That, that felt like easy mode. Their rotation-proof mono black deck really didn't hold up in this fight. Of course, it's not quite built for that fight. And it doesn't have a lot of very important cards. Something that's going to be huge for this deck come rotation is Liliana of the Veil, which if you play a naked Rafine with nothing to protect it, is going to just... Rafine's going to get wrecked by that card. So uh, Liliana's very, very good. The Raven Man's an interesting card. Also very interesting in Esper. So we'll see. It's going to keep holding up the counter spell till they die. Hey, yeah. Milk in the moment, Uncle. March of Wretched Sorrow. Do you pay the one? And game. Moving right along. Three to go. Can I be a rotation proof mythic gamer? This is the game. This is it. We're up against another Diamond Four. Could be their mythic gamer match. We're on the play. We've got a Shuffler's Fine moment with three Denix and that we can't even play on turn two. We're keeping it. We're not backing down. I mean, if you believe in Denik, you keep this hand. It's mostly because if I discard it to Rafine, it's one of the best cards to discard to Rafine. I really hope I rip an untapped land, though. Mm. I can't wait for those pain lands. I had the pathways in this deck initially, and I was said, you know, just turn them into pain lands when that comes out. And then I decided, nah, that's coward behavior. Let's get the wedding going. Stomper. Ramp. 
Titan. Titan is a scary card. Alright, let's get Rafine cooking. I also get Kaito cooking, but I think getting the Rafine down makes it more likely that in the future the wedding announcement will draw cards. It also gets the whole uh, Denik in the graveyard thing going, turns those into fresh cards. We need to make disappears ASAP. If they're going to ramp, it means they've got Blamp. Sika's Chariot. Yikes. Void Rand off the top. So I need to discard two spells. I have two spells to discard. This is a lovely world we live in. I don't think I attack with a 1-1 one, one, though. Look at that removal. No land though. It's a little sus. <laughs> a graveyard full of Denik. I'm so glad we kept it. Uh, all right, they're gonna po try to power up this chariot. They wanna trade this chariot with my token? I might be okay with this. It does take my best bit of battlefield off the board. Maybe I'm supposed to use a removal to avoid that? I also might draw Make Disappear. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna grasp this and keep two mana available. I still get a chance to block here, but if they double block, we have March of Otherworldly Light. Oh, baby, I didn't think that they'd actually go for that as well, but I'll take it and just decimate their battlefield. Although all that was to get through one chariot, to be fair. That might be what they wanted. There's still a turn away from Titan. We've got a turn to find Make Disappear, so I'm probably attacking with everything. This is a big land. It turns on their Stompers. All right, we need to find Make Disappear, so let's connive onto this token. See what we can do. A lot of land. I can only discard one land to this. Otherwise, I'm just kind of throwing it away to a stomper, which is not good. So I guess I'll discard this Rafine and this... Emperor? Oh, I hate it. I do hate it, I gotta be honest. That's a lot of damage. Let's see how they handle it. Post-combat, I'm probably playing this Kaito and trying to draw the make disappear. But we'll see. We'll see how they block. Do they block? I mean, they're giving up 8 damage on a crackback next turn if they block. But then they're going pretty low on life themselves. And they could go to 6 here if they take it. Double block the 5-5 five five is better than a trade on the 4-4, four four, I think. But they've got to be worried about... They've got to be worried about the removal spell. And apparently they're not. Which I think means I'm supposed to do this. Which throws off the Make Disappear line. Oh, man. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Get in, get out. <laughs> There's no secret I can't uncover. Okay, we didn't quite get there on Make Disappear, did we? Storm the Festival is not what I expected. That has a fail state. Let's see if they hit. <laughs> Shuffler's fine. Oh my god, what a game. Okay. Um, oh god, now what? Now what? This is... is fine. Blocks one of those. This trades with one of those. I don't know if I can stay aggressive. I don't know if I can stay aggressive, but I think I need to. I just... Do we save the Rafine? 
I, I guess let's try to grow the attacker. The uh, flyer, I mean. And by try to grow, I mean we have to, you know, draw cards that grow it. Like, non-land cards. We just... It's not a thing we really do, to be honest. This time, you're mine. Fool me once. You know what they say. They're going in. We do have to block. Look at this. Look at this. All right. It's fine. This is fine. This is all according to plan. Another storm the festival will be absolutely terrifying. Oh my god. Now this is a juicy secret. But I'm holding that void ren to the last possible moment. I also want them to think that they might be able to remove this and get me to a very low life total. All the Denix versus all the Stompers. Who will win? Mythic Gaming, if ever I've seen it. Well, we know they don't have nothing. Because they are in the tank on this one. I mean, I don't have a good follow-up, so let's just go for the seat of the Empire here. all we needed if i'm them you probably don't scoop there because i might not even be able to deal seven next turn <laughs> the way that this game is gone but we'll take it boom dropped a 6-0 today with the esper deck got to mythic with rotation proof piles other than those two explorer videos that you saw me make this was this is not this is not an experience like right now feels good but Putting the last like three weeks in perspective, it is like bashing your head into a wall playing rotation proof decks at times like these. And I really miss the standard 2022. This would have been standard 2023 Q. And I would prefer that they brought that back by a long shot. I really wish they would. Um, because this was hard and I wouldn't do it if it weren't literally my job and uh for the entertainment of all you guys and keeping you guys company on your arena journey, try to keep the love for arena itself alive. You know, I, I do what I must, but man, if, if I had a different job and a different life, would I do this for fun? No, I would have taken the month off. So thank you to everybody who stuck with me. Uh, the Patreon support has been going crazy. Thank you to you guys. And, uh, yeah, let's get to those. Uh, the stats are six. Oh, I just, why, why do a post game wrap? We can leave this on the screen and appreciate this lovely rank. We can go check the profile, I guess. Um, but yeah, the, the stats powered by MTG assistant are six and oh today. It was pretty lucky, pretty good run was definitely feeling it. Got some really interesting games though. We come in at 95% with 10 days in season. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Still long ways to go if we want to get back to gaming in the numbers. I don't even know if I care enough, to be honest. I'll, I'll probably do more videos about new cards and some historic brawl. And that's how we'll pass time till that blessed beloved day on August 30th when new cards come out in early access. And I'll get some videos of that up for you guys. And then everybody gets Dominaria united on Thursday, September 1st. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys for being here with me. And uh, yeah, hold on. I'm blocking it. You can't even see the 95%. You just have to take my word for it. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? <laughs> You're cool. <laughs> Morton Kanan. <laughs> no, I don't want a control versus control fight. Maybe this deck is okay for that, to be honest, but <laughs> it's not, you know, what I build for. I didn't, Morton Kanan's French? I, I guess. Sure, why not? I, I can keep a slow hand here. Watch. They're gonna here, here comes the creature. Okay. If they if they had gone turn one hopeful initiate, my whole mind would have been blown. 
Are we gonna draw, what are we gonna draw? Untapped white or untapped blue? That's the question. If we play this, it goes either way. If we play this, drawing Tenacious Underdog doesn't matter. I have no one drop black spell. We'll go with the this and we'll get lucky. Draw that untapped land for the Denik. Get right onto the battlefield. Failed. I failed this city. And now I have so many cards to eat Jwari Disruptions. You have a basics check me, bro? I'm the basics master. All right. Basics check me. You basics check me. It's me, it's CGB. Gotta love a good content play. The content players are out in force today. Really tempting to get Rafine on the field. Really tempting to get wedding announcement on the field. Yeah, we'll roll like this. It gives us more options next turn, I think, where we can play Denik, hold up, make, disappear. Lines like that. So they have a march. You can tell from where the priority started sticking. They could spend their turn right now marching the wedding announcement, which leads us right to a Rafine. And it looks like they will. They're very worried about the value I get from it. Could also play Denik and hold up, make disappear, but I don't feel I'm making enough progress on the battlefield with that line. I like this better. Especially with a March of Sorrow I don't need in hand. I like holding Denik as, you know, we can play it as a threat, but it's also something I'll definitely send away with Rafine pretty soon if I need to. The Field of Ruin can hit the Hall of Storm Giants, so that's nice. Second March. That's unfortunate. Did take their whole turn, led us right to this wedding announcement, which is a sweet one, backed by a make disappear. We could get a lot of cards out of this deal if things go our way. Now there's something I don't see all the time. What's interesting is I can shut off its chapter two with Denik, but not everybody knows how that works. There's a field of ruin down there. If they discard a card to get it back, that would be really funny. Revelry, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Jeez, and they're trying to keep me off drawing a card here too. Okay, you can have it. I'll find something better for Make Disappear to do, I'm confident. You may discard a card. When you do, return target permanent. <gasps> they did it! They did it! Read the card! <laughs> it worked! You can't target a card in your graveyard with this card on the battlefield, you nerd! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we salty? Nope. Wrecked. <laughs> I'm so happy. I am stupidly happy about this. I have, I have no grounds for being this happy. Another make disappear is a good draw. All right, send you, send you. Let's draw a card off this thing, but I only want to trade one of the one ones, not both because they're going to get leveled up into two twos here. Play with Emperor, no thank you. I'm going to hold up March to hit the Restoration or to possibly protect our board. There's a land. <laughs> oh, baby, baby, baby. So I'm in an interesting spot because I need to get rid of this architect, but I also can't tap this field without risking losing it to their field. So I need to do the field thing now because this Hall of the Storm Giants is, could be a problem. Oh, 
I'll basics check myself. Thank you very much. Blue, blue, black, black, white, white. I definitely don't need white. It's blue or black. When in doubt, go blue. Would you like to basics check me again, opponent? Eh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. They're going to do it. If they do it, and they target an untapped... If they basics check me here, I get to use my end step to march their architect, which would be another huge mistake on their part. Oh, oh I'm loving this game. I'm loving this game so much. All right, black. Yeah, we'll get the other black. Out of there. Thank you for the mana. Another announcement is a perfect draw. Oh my gosh. This this game is like the stars are aligned, man. They are aligned. Mordenkainen. There's a reason you're a second rate to fairy. Sorry, D and D nerds. All right, that is a problem. We can't void rend it because it's a land. We have to draw another solution. Woof. All right, not quite the solution. We can play this as a land this turn, but I think we just hold, try to grind them out. We might draw another land here. We'll probably draw other lands throughout the course of the game at some point. All right, that Hall of the Storm Giants is the biggest, baddest thing on the battlefield. Let's see if we can resolve a Wandering Emperor. It does take a lot of mana to activate that thing. I'm not overconfident. You're just underwhelming. Oh, they might have a play. What's it gonna be? They're hovering Denik. Oh no! I'll just have to play the other one. Oh, they don't have the mana for the hall anymore though. So we get a seven point hit in, which sets us up for potential victory next turn. Eight point hit, my bad. Who wants it? I think I think my doggo could use a little buff. He's a good boy. The goodest, the goodest doggo. And send another. Plenty more Denik where that came from. Utawara, the Storing City. Game, baby. Oh, that was... I I don't usually delight that much in just messing with a blue-white mage, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Two wins. Two wins from Mythic. If I can get them in a row, it's a perfect 6-0 with a rotation-proof deck. It just, it feels like it's my day, man. Oh, it's my day. It's my day. It's fine. This is fine. That's actually a pretty darn good draw here. Green, white, weaver. It's a terrifying deck, to be honest. It is very tempting to just march this sucker. But I don't have another black card. So, puppy, get to work. All right, a different march could be really useful. Jukai, missing land drop. You love to see that. You love to see that. Oof. Uh, I want to kill both of them so bad. The opponent won't block this, right? If they do, I can march this for two and be done with it. But I, do I even want that? Just march like this, right? All right. I could also... 
God, this is actually tough because I could also play Denik and march this, exiling a card and get ahead on battlefield against somebody who's down on mana. But nah, nah, just nice and easy. We're trying to achieve mythic gamerness. We gotta, we gotta take every little edge here. All right, green, white, you are on the play. Did you rip the land? It's probably about 50-50 if you keep a two lander that you get to three lands on turn three. It's a little under 50-50 for most decks. It's about 60-40. Did you do it? Nope. And that is not a good turn two, turn uh, three play, or turn four in this case. Oof. All right. Be done. Be done with it. Actually, you know what? I don't even think that's the right play. I think I'm supposed to hold up Make Disappear and keep him off the battlefield, and then turn the tide next turn. If I had a black card here, I might just get rid of it to target the Weaver, but I don't. This deck has so many white cards compared to black cards. Maybe I'm actually supposed to run for March of Otherworldly Light. I just find the life gain from Wretched Sorrow to be relevant a lot in Best of One. But maybe I'm overthinking it. Oh, they found the land. So, what offering would you like to make to make disappear? Nothing. Sneaky bugger. I attack you. Say go. They spent their turn on nothing. I'm kind of into that. I can live with that. I mean, you can copy that. I don't think it makes two two twos. I don't think it does what you hope it do. Pretty sure it just exiles it a little sooner, but I would love to see you try. Ranger class? What if you had no Ranger class? Give this a try. I'm a little worried about safekeeping, but that just opens the way for the Wandering Emperor. All right, Denik on the board. By the way, stuff in your graveyard can't be targeted. Just thought you should know. They might also have Restoration of a Ganjo, which we saw this is very effective against. Okay. That's too bad. Need that back. Here's the Emperor. Let's see if we can use a 2-2 to block this. Instead of gain the two life, keep the loyalty higher. Sphinxy? Seems nice. I think I'll make more battlefield presence. Keep watch for intruders. Let's go, dog, go. More cards? Ah, we can play this for cards next turn. Let's get the cards going. Good night. Comediante, you out, and we are one win away. Feeling it today.